Looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. Wait, hold on. Let's fight the dragon together. Idiots. Watch out in front! It's coming! Another new soul has joined. But are you sure his fate will... Of course. <sighs> My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said. <laughs> You're right. Am I going to have to save you? Thank you, hat guy. Uh, Paimon still feels this. The dragon's memory. Sounds like we all saw the same thing. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talk? That sounds like a good plan. Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of. Uh, just keep walking. <laughs> hey, wait for us! Wow, this place looks a lot different from the dragon lair. He's 
seems angry. We just want to talk to you. Get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? Hat guy! You're getting too far away! <sighs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. Maybe there's still something we can do to call me. I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. Prepare for a final battle. I see something up ahead. Are you sure you want to create this child? <sighs> he will be abandoned. I know, B. You've told me already, but that's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child? His heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya. But know that if you give him that name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real... But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a... Although, he might need the help of... All right, my dear. Since you're so... Hmm. 
More boring fate talk. I'm sorry. Unlike my friends, I don't... It's okay. It's oh. Go forth and witness this work. You'll meet good fr as for this world. <sighs> so in the end, you're betrayed too. Hey, Mr. Dragon. He brought you some food. You must be hungry. <laughs> Shh, quiet. We can't let anyone hear us. Everyone says you're a bad dragon, but you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't re- It's okay. Just keep hiding here, and to- Oh no, my- help! Somebody help me! No, Mom! It's not like that! <sighs> so you're hated by people too. So that's it. That's really your wick to never have been born at all? Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. It's all right now. Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Oh, yeah, that guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, that guy. You're okay? He's... Durin. Oh, wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragonspine. Right. It was created by Rhyme Daughter. <sighs> created, you say? So that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dread. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the... Huh. I thought it was strange. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titanium Mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, you are the hero of this world. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice? Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. It's of the Hexen Zirkle. Hexen Zirkle? As in, sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you said. She created the story of Durin. <laughs> what? These records should cover most of what you want to know. By all right, still, her magic never fails to amaze. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals? Barbie loves looking into the future. I think I'll make a bet with her. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital. My dear sisters, the time we spent together was the most wonderful A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess, if you ever want to chat. 
It's Simulonka Duran. And he's looking up at something. This must have been after M passed. This look maybe the Titania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. Now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. The Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Huh. That statue looks different from... It's a different goddess. The... <sighs> it's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Don't say that, Durin! I Paimon made a mistake. She was wrong about you. So that's why you made that wish? Hey! Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along. You just want to make friends, people to play with, to talk to. Well, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Yeah, if you had a heart to heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand. <laughs> The Kirk. Huh? Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Sid? <laughs> then close your eyes and make a wish to the goddess of fate. <laughs> Just trust me. I, Nilu, the forest fairy, give to you my blessing and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. May everyone accept you as one of our own. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too. As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this world, I give you my blessing too. Wait, what's going on? <sighs> I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. As for this world... Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? My... my claws... Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? Does this mean... <laughs> wow, you look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. How do you feel? Are you happy with... Does anyone have a flower with them? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. They're... they're not changing! I can touch things without changing them! Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for Paimon! Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that... That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the broken sea get home. Okay. And... You'll come along and help me, right? Huh? Uh... 
Because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Gah. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought... <sighs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you! You're the first friend to call me by my name! <sighs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> yeah, okay. Paimon just never thought we'd see the day. All right. Let's also... Uh, don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your... Mm-hmm! Thank you for your... Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh, my! You mean you still don't remember me? After all the times we've... I know that voice! It's Mom's friend! Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, if you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know. So I got B involved, and with M's consent, created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're getting a little ahead of yourself! First thing. <laughs> Don't worry, all will be revealed after everything you accomplish. Hmm. Let's start with your first question then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power and... That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessing. Yes, exact. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Oh, plan isn't the word I'd use. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to... And because of your noble and kind souls, you... Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got assigned to roll except us? Yeah, that was it. We just received a strange book and we had no... Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? That's right. In fact, Back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way- Wait! So even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too. <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed. She's M's reflection, after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M. Anyway, I think that answers your question. I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After... Mm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Paimon's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Mini Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories M used to tell. 
<sighs> She's... Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to... Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the... Hmm? Huh? Ugh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. 